वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दैट इज ए आई नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सो इन द प्रीवियस थ्री वीडियो ऑफ द सी एन एन वी हैव जस्ट सीन अबाउट वाट द सी एन एन हाउ वाई वी आर यूजिंग द सी एन एन फॉर द इमेजेस एंड देर आर फाइव टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेशन यू आर जस्ट परफॉर्मिंग इन द सी एन एन द फर्स्ट वन वी ऑलरेडी हैव बिन कवर अबाउट कन्वोल्यूशन ऑपरेशन यू आर जस्ट परफॉर्मिंग हाउ यू आर जस्ट रिड्यूसिंग द साइज ऑफ द इमेज द डायमेंशन ऑफ इमेज यू आर जस्ट रिड्यूसिंग वट वॉज द प्रीवियस डायमेंशन आफ्टर सेवरल फिल्टर यू आर जस्ट यूजिंग ऑफ फीचर डिटेक्टर और द नंबर ऑफ कर्नल यू आर गोइंग टू यूज सो दैट ऑन द बेसिक ऑफ दैट इमेज यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट दैट पार्टिकुलर इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर फ्रॉम दैट इमेज यू डोंट वॉन्ट एनी एजिस पार्ट बिकॉज एजिस पार्ट आर यू कैन जस्ट से देर इज नो इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर प्रेजेंट इन द एजिस एज कम्पेयर टू द पार्टिकुलर in your in the middle part of your images okay so you already have done this all thing part so now this particular video will belongs to the pooling so before pooling i hope so you have just gone through the relu layer also this was the last things i have just uh, explained in the convolution operation so whenever you are just applying the relu activation function after convolution operation if you have just done the convolution operation and you you get the dimension of image as 4 cross 4 4 cross 3 okay so basically what you are just seeing here so now you are just applying the relu activation function i think you are clear with the relu because they are using the formula for the relu is the range of the relu is max of x comma 0 and x is represent whether if your positive number you are just defining so it will be as it is and if it, it is a negative pixel so it will just represent as a zero so this is the dimension you are just getting after performing one convolution operation then after the second thing you have to apply that is a relu relu activation function or that is it calls in the cnn as a relu layer okay on top of that you are just applying the relu activation function now what the positive number will be it will be same as it is but whenever they will just see the any negative pixel so it will make as is zero okay so you are able to see minus 1 minus 4 and minus 4 they become 0 0 0 okay i hope so you are clear with this particular relu layer now we are jumping to the pooling layer so what do you mean by pooling layer and why the pooling layer is the you can just say most important step whenever you are going to reduce the dimension of your image okay so in the cnn first of all you will build the convolution layer then after you will follow with the relu activation function that is a relu layer and the third thing you are going to see that is a pooling layer you are going to apply okay so what's a pooling so basically pooling is basically you are just want to reduce the further dimension of image if your image dimension came after the convolution operation as 5 cross 5 then after using the max pooling you will get the image dimension as 2 cross 2 and in that 2 cross 2 you will get the most important feature on the basic of that particular feature you will just fit to the an and model that is a classification you will do on the basic of that particular feature the model will able to classify which particular object belongs to okay whether that particular object belongs to the cat dog if you are just going for this particular two model okay like two data data set that is the two class you are just going for the one data set that that is a cat and that is a dog you are just applying for the, you are just building one model that is a cnn model and now you are using uh, you are just using the after convolution operation relu activation function and pooling layer you are just using this ann network that ann network we are going to cover in the next video the, how because with the help of pooling here you are getting the most important feature so that this particular feature you can fit to the particular ann layer and the, on the basic of this particular feature ann layer will able to detect or classify what object that belongs to okay so i hope so you are clear with this how this flow is going on even after the completion of this particular pooling layer we are going to start the flatten and that with the last we are going to leave that is a fully connected layer this two part will we are going to cover in the next video so the this particular video will belongs to the all the pooling thing okay so pooling layer why we are going to use the pooling layer i already explained you the pooling layer basically means whenever you want to reduce the dimension of your images and that part from that particular image you want the most important feature on the basic of that feature it will able to classify even i have just given you the example of an apple so whenever you are you have you want to just classify an apple even if you are just saying with your eyes so on the basic of one feature also you will able to say whether this is a apple or with this is a orange on the basic of you can just say on the basic of taste or on the basic of size on the basic of color you will say this is this color belongs to an apple apple is a red uh, and then an uh, orange is color is orange you can just say so you can just differentiate between them on the basic of color so with the help of one feature also you are able to classify with this particular fruit belongs to an apple or this particular fruit uh, belongs to the category of the orange okay 
so this that is the max pooling you are just extracting the most important feature from that particular image so that you are just reducing the dimension of your image also plus you are just decreasing the number of parameter learnable parameter so during the uh, training time you, during the back propagation it will it you are not giving too much burden to your model so during the back propagation it is able to update the weights very you can just say it will not give too much burden to your model so and the weight will be updated sharply you can just say so without any overfitting problem any other like vanishing gradient problem so this thing we are going to cover in the very soon video so the there are three type of pooling we are generally we are seeing in the real life so one is a max pooling the second is the sum pooling and the third is the average pooling so every time whenever you are just performing the whenever you will build the model that is cnn model even those who have just built the already train on 10 lakhs of images or 100 lakhs of images they already the maximum they are using as a max pooling layer so i will explain you how the max pooling layer is depends upon you whether which particular pooling layer you are just choosing but generally 90% you can just say in initial phase you are just choosing max pooling layer because it is giving you good accuracy as compared to the average pooling but generally is the theory uh, behind this particular max pooling and average pooling and how we are just performing this thing during the model training time so we are going to see in the next slide so generally if uh, max pooling is basically used to extract the low level feature like edges points they are just on the basic of that feature they are able to classify and this average pooling generally we are using for the smoother features so how we are just calculating the max pooling and how we are just performing the average pooling and there is also the sum pooling so if you understand about the working of the max pooling you will the similar working of the sum and average pooling so it will be like nearly same so pooling whenever you are just uh, cat categorizing so mainly we are just using max pooling and other average pooling these two are generally we are just going to use now it will be depends upon you which particular pooling layer you are just choosing whether you are choosing the max pooling or whether you are choosing the average pooling there is no compulsory that you have to choose every time max pooling or every time the average pooling it's is totally depends upon you but generally i can just say i have just done lots of the uh, build the cnn model lots of problem i have just solved that's related to the deep learning but generally max pooling will give you the more accuracy as compared to the average pooling part because max uh, generally when by the theoretical part we already we seen this thing in the next slide so i will just cover you how you are just going to calculate with the help of max pooling how you are able to they take the dimension of image and then after further applying the max pulley you are getting some re reduced dimension of that particular image okay so here this is the working of max pulling so by default whenever you are just writing the max pulling function so this all thing you will be more clear whenever you will do the particular coding part okay so whenever you are just applying the max pulling suppose your dimension of your image is 5 cross 5 so this is the 5 cross 5 image after performing the convolution operation you have just performed this one this is the convolution operation after convolution op operation that is a 7 cross 7 and you have used the filter size as 3 cross 3 and you are just getting the particular feature map or you can just say that output dimension of image after performing first convolution operation you are getting as 5 cross 5 now this 5 cross 5 you already apply the relu activation function those the negative pixel it will just vanishing means it will add the layers of negative it will just come as a zero by using the relu activation function now you are going to use the pooling okay the pooling i will just explain you about the max max pooling the same working of the average pooling is also the same okay you are just taking the average in the max pooling you are just taking the maximum from all this particular value okay so max pooling generally you are this is the 5 plus 5 you are just taking the image now that by default the max pooling is tried equal to 2 so it tries basically already I explained it will just jump two column at a time or two row at a time okay so whenever you are just using uh, max pooling you have used as uh, a dimension of max pooling you have used as true cross true okay and stride you have just taken as two so among this four a uh, this two cross two it will just come up it will just apply on top of this particular image that is a 5 cross 5 on the on the basic of this 4 2 cross 2 you have just applied if there was 3 cross 3 then it will be like this okay but you are just taking for example we are just uh, taking as a 2 cross 2 and generally we are just using 2 cross 2 more that is a max pooling so among this 4 which one is the highest highest number of pixel you will take that one as an output okay so in 0 1 0 1 you are getting 1 as a maximum number of pixel so you are just taking as a 1 now again what you just you are just uh, applying then again you are just moving the right side so it's similar you are just taking now stride equal to 2 so it will not take as 1 1 0 1 1 but whenever your stride was the 1 you are just keeping one column at a time now you are going to skip two column at a time because for the max pulling that by default their stride will be equal to 2 
so so they uh, you are just applying 0011 so here what you are just getting the output you uh, in the here also 0010 you are getting the maximum value of pixel that is a 1 and similarly you are getting for 0, 0, here there is no pixel, so that's why in 0, 0, you are getting as maximum as 0. Similar, you will go, you will go down as 1, 0, 1, 4. Now you are going to for 1, 0, 1, 4. Among this one, which one has the highest number of pixel, you will take that one as an output. Here it will is a 4, so that's why you are just taking as a 4. Similar, it will go for the 1, 2, 2, 1, and similar, it will goes on. And after doing of all the, this particular max pulling operation, you will get the dimension of image will be this one, 1, 1, 0, 4, 2, 2, 0, 2, 1. So this one four you are getting the most number of pixel means this particular side this particular in this image you have you are getting the most important feature at that particular point so on the basic of that you will able to classify what particular object will belongs to okay this is what the max pulling working is it's really easy it's really easy I I, th I hope so if you are just clear with the convolution operation it, it is far easy with uh, whenever you are just performing the max pooling and similar you can just go for the average pooling also what do you mean by average pooling means you will take the average of this 0 1 0 1 the average will be 2 divided by 4 0 0.5 you will get somewhere here again you will take the average of this you will get 0 0.5 and again you are going to take average of this you will get a 0 and again you will take the average of this as if 1 plus 1 plus 4 divided by 4 so you are going to 6 divided by 4 you will get something as 1.5 5 you will generally you will get okay so you will take 1.5 so similar the average pulling also work the max pulling also you are just uh, how the max pulling is working the same as it is the average pulling will also work and the sum pulling already it is there you are just taking the sum 1 plus 1 plus 4 you will get as a 6 okay you are not taking the divi divi divided by the 4 that is basically the sum pulling okay so max pulling average pulling and sum pulling i hope so it's clear to you basically we are using the max pulling only whenever you want to reduce the dimension of your image so that when you will just you on what max pulling it is doing it is just extracting the most important feature from that particular image and on the basic of that feature it will again supply to the next layer will be the fully connected layer so on the basic of that feature the model will able to classify whether this particular object belongs to this or that okay and you and the second benefit of the using the max pulling is that you are just reducing the uh, diamonds, uh, you are just reducing a dimension of image that was the first you are also reducing the more uh, reducing the number of learnable parameter so whenever you are just reducing the learnable parameter what you are just doing you are just reducing the computational power of your model okay so whenever computational power of model is reducing you are in you are just reducing the training time so your model will train too much fast as compared to the previous and the fourth benefit of this max pulling was so generally it uh, already have just described all the things that's related to the max pooling so max pooling generally is up to you whether you are using the average pooling the max pooling so generally we are going for the max pooling more so this was about the max pooling i don't think so you have doubt in the max pooling and it was really easy with the performing the max pooling so you were able to see in the average pooling you are getting this one as an output and for the max pooling you are getting this one as an output okay so basically the max pooling you are get you, it is able to extract the low level feature that is ages filter or point filter and average pooling generally we are going for the smoother feature okay so that's all for this particular pooling layer. I hope so you are clear with this max pooling. We are, whenever we will build this particular model in the PyTorch or the TensorFlow, you will be more clear how we are just building the pooling layer because here I am just explaining you only the theoretical part, but co the coding part will be very soon. So at that time you will be able to see how your dimension of image is changing and how after one convolution operation, how you are using the ReLU layer and how you are using after that max pooling layer. So after this video, we are going to or continue with the flatten layer and also we are just going to continue with this particular fully connected layer that will be our last two part of the cnn model so whenever you are done with the, all the five operation of the cnn model means you are just building your cnn model okay so that's all for this video thank you